I like sandboarding. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on guys? It's another day in Egypt, but today I'm in Fayyum and I have found myself on another planet yet again. I am now at Wadi El Khatan and to get here uh, we have to pass to Wadi uh, Riyan. But the most crazy thing about this area is that this place is 4 million years old because there used to be an ocean here long ago. Here with my guy, my man. How are you doing? What's your name? <laughs> Thank you, Oshokran. And uh, I'm here with uh, Osama. It's my guy right here. And this is my beautiful, beautiful. Yo, uh, put the Instagram up the below. We gotta get going because uh, there's a lot more to see. So hang tight. It's gonna be a great video. I can hear the voices now, singing from the rafters. Hey, what's going on? Just a little bit more about the package. Uh, this package tour of Fayyum cost me and my friends 1,400 Egyptian pounds, but we were able to hack it down all the way to 1,100, which was split in three different ways. Uh, if you're traveling with a big group, this can also be split six different ways, which is also great. What includes in this package is driving through Wadi El Rian, checking out Wadi El Hitan, checking out the Magic Lake, panorama view, swimming at the waterfall, and ending the day with sandboarding. So we've arrived. We are at Wadi Hitan. And, uh, Hitan means uh, whale, whale fossil. This place is, uh, you have to get through Wadi Rian to get through there. Um, admission for Egyptians is 10 pounds. But for foreigners, it's 80 pounds or 80, 85 pounds, something like that. We're gonna check out uh, the museum here, and then after we're gonna go for a little walk and look at the fossils ourselves. Then we're going to the next uh, event for the day. This is a whole day event, so I highly recommend if you're coming to Fayum, come during like winter time because the sun is kind of strong today, like it was in Luxor and Aswan. But if you're okay, definitely come. Uh, this place is uh, pretty cool so far and I love the vibe. So I just paid for my ticket uh, and just like uh, the entrance, uh, it's a lot cheaper for the Egyptians, locals, but for foreigners, it's like double. I paid $10 equivalents, which is about 180 pounds. Um, all the Egyptians paid uh, closer to, I think like 15 pounds per person. It's definitely more expensive for foreigners, so be aware if you are coming to Fayoum to check out uh, a lot of excursions or even some most parts of Egypt is, is just gonna be more pricier for foreigners since uh, we are not from the land. But also even here uh, telling them that you are a student which I told them student of the game uh, it, it didn't work because usually it would take 50% off uh, all prices but that didn't work here so just be aware of that. So this museum uh, of the whale fossils is pretty cool. They discovered these fossils all throughout Wadi Hitan, which is the Valley of the Whales. Um, it's very authentic, and when you come in, they kind of brief you kind of like the history of the whales uh, here that were here before, four, four million years ago, and they give you like a brief synopsis of what to expect how they've evolved over time, and how this area was just a complete ocean before it became decreased, decreased, decreased into a land of desert now in Egypt. So it's pretty cool. It's just, it's not that big um, of a place as I expected. Just a small studio of uh, more proud pieces that they've found and put together. I think the most biggest accomplishment that they've found and put together is the one right here, where it's showing a complete 360 and how this whole museum was designed around this this giant piece and it shows you exactly how big these wheels used to be. How do you feel about this place, Jamna? I love it. It's so cool. Yeah? Yeah. The 
fact that these fossils have been here for millions of years without any, like, it's all natural. There isn't any, like, man made. Yeah, after we finished at the museum, then we were, uh, now we get to explore the area on our own. We're not gonna go too far because uh, the heat's actually really hot today. Maybe you can hear me better, but I was trying to say that we're now on a path that's being guided for us. And this path is showing us where the archeologists here have discovered all the whale fossils uh, dated back to four million years ago. And each path is directed to a specific uh, part of the whales that they discovered. And that could be just even crocodiles, uh, dolphins, whales, all types of sea creatures. And we get to see it firsthand up front. And these are not handmade. These are all real authentic, natural fossils here in the uh, Valley of the Whales. YouTube life, baby. Yo, subscribe. Actually, like this video because what I'm about to do next. This is what you get when you come to Fayoum, Egypt. You get all this panoramic view for yourself. You can't beat that. Now I'm just going to absorb, settle in, and accept that all this belongs to me. Lion King vibes. This place is breathtaking. I mean, look at it. This is called the Panorama View. You get a wide view of the whole entire thing. Oh, it's beautiful. Not much more to be said, but this is this is like a peak, no pun intended, part of the trip, and I'm just enjoying it. This part of Africa, view of Egypt, is just beautiful. Oh my god. This is a this is a dope photo op. Right. Oh my god. I want a shot here. And now we're going down. Yo, our driver is like fast fierce Egypt, yo. I you feel it, bro? Oh, crazy. <laughs> you having fun? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We have come to a location called the Magic Lake. And I've heard about this place before. Uh, I was trying to figure out why it's so significant and what is the importance or where the name comes from. Like, why is it called Magic Lake? From what our tour guide was telling us, like, um, from sunset, afternoon, evening, the sun is never in the same place. It's just warm. Like, oh, it's like warm. On the colder side, though. And it's like glowing, it's glittering. I don't think I'm gonna go. I don't know, but it's pretty. It's a it's a pretty significant lake. Uh, I want to go into it and kind of cool down, but I don't think I should go into it based on what I'm seeing. I'm not saying there's any litter or any trash. It's actually really clean, really beautiful. 
but I just don't think I should go into this water. We're going to another location called like a waterfall and there may be some other people there, uh, which is kind of like a safer place for me to go to. So we just arrived at this location, which is the waterfalls, and uh, this is definitely a more local spot. You're gonna see a lot of families hanging out, taking uh, dips in the water, taking photos. Uh, definitely won't record the families though, but just know it looks like a local place to kind of cool down after a hot day in Egypt. Uh, I don't know if I'll get in the water. I want to. Then again, I can't damage these good looks. You know what I mean? <laughs> so the water comes all the way over there. Kind of flows all the way down under this bridge. Right over there. And that's where everyone kind of plays with the water. So I just fell right now. I was trying to tiptoe in, but now it's already too late. I'm gonna try and get close to this waterfall. This looks amazing up close. Digging my feet in there. So this is where I think this is like the final stop of our event today. Checking out Fayum's beautiful destinations. Now we are at what I've requested, what I came to Fayum for, and that is to sandboard. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I will be sandboarding the sands of Egypt. How cool is that? No, really, I'm actually super excited for this. I've been waiting all day. I came to Fayum just for this. I cannot wait to try this out. I've seen so many people. You know, this is like the highest peak of like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm doing this right now. So let's see how this turns out. Oh shit, that was cool. <laughs> and it's still recording. It feels nothing like skateboarding. Yeah. 
Sotra. Hey, that's the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, amazing tour that went on. If you, listen, guys, I'm a full-time content creator, world traveler, all of the above. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'll be going to the Sinai with my last video in Egypt, so I hope you guys are here to enjoy that. Don't forget to always like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.